let's start by installing the um, Meet Me 6. But I already have it, uh, so I don't need to up install a Meet Me 6, and just simply start using it Meet 6 with the domain name. And in our case, it's a secure.lab as a lab environment. As you can see, it started to listen on IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. And as you can see, DNS local search domain name is secure.lab, and as well, DNS allow list is a DNS lab. Now, let's switch to the new console, and we are using impacket ntlm relay x to start our relay x for our configuration. Now, what we see here are the switches R. The minus 6, minus T, and then there is LWS with the IP address of the domain controller. Minus 6 is giving us IPv6, minus T is the target for the LWS connection, and then we have the minus WH, which is the fake WPAD, and it really the domain name that doesn't exist in our environment. Then minus L and LUT for the processing afterwards, which we will see very soon. What's this doing? It's starting a lot of servers. And now, as you can see, this is the combination of both of those. We are switching to Windows 11. So let's just simply sign in to Windows 11. And just simply sign in as a new user. This is the secure admin. This is our domain admin, just as an example. What's happening on the lines? As you can see, there are two requests for the IPv6 because MIT6 redirected us. And by using the uh, connection coming from uh, our uh, Windows 11, it's redirected to our domain controller to LDAPS. And as you can see, it succeeded as a secure admin to authenticate. Based on this, the minus loot was creating the new user. And this new user has a random name. Let's copy this line so that it will be a little bit easier for us. You can try using this sync with the secret dumps py. It's even suggesting us to do that. So you can easily uh, continue this kind of attack. Well, we are opening the leaf path, maybe in the new console, and pasting the username and password, it will be easier for later for copying it. So it was suggesting us one of the scripts, and as you can see, it's impacted secrets dump with a connection just to the DC with the NTLM and the name of the domain, then the slash, watch out, it's a slash, not a backslash, as like for Windows, and the username that was just created in the previous step. So we are pasting it, and of course, at the IP address of our domain controller. Now, the question is about the password. We know the password. It was presented for us in the previous uh, script. So we just copy it. And as you can see, copying pasting is the key to the success. We have all the hashes from the Active Directory because we just simply use DC Sync for synchronization. And of course, this is the, proper, the permission of the domain admin. So you can see different users, also the hashes for each of those users, including the KRB TGT. This is because we could use this uh, newly created user, and as well, this user had a replication get directory changes all and uh, get directory changes uh, from the Active Directory. Now, we are going to run it again. And this time, let's just simply go to some web page. Yeah, so switching to the Windows 11 again and opening a browser. Maybe this will also trigger again the redirection. As you can see, there was an error, but we already see that someone was requesting the google.pl and still it was redirected to us. And then another one user created. So how to prevent from this? NCAPL. And then in the connection, in our case, we have two, but of course, on both of them, we should disable it. Uh, so as you can see, the second one as well in the properties, just simply disable IPv6. 
it is recommended to disable the IPv6 when you are not using it. Let's sign out. Okay, switching back to Kali Linux. Let's stop uh, the listening and start again. So it's listening again. And then we go to our uh, Windows again, signing in the same way as previously, secure admin. And now we just simply log in, wait for it. And it's time to check what we can see. Maybe just before that one, let's just simply go with the browser, open it for anything, maybe to prove that neither of those ways is really giving us a joy on the attacker side. Even that at the first glance, it might be looking that we can serve the pack, but because it is on the IPv6 6 that is disabled, there is no additional action that could be used by the attacker. So just simply remember, whenever you are not using it, disable IPv6.